So, Robert, how are you doing? Oh, great. I'm, now that my talk is over, I'm much more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd the talk go, actually? Uh, I enjoyed it. Yes. Dude, I saw the hoverboard sign and I just lit up. I was uh, like, oh, dude. Yeah, you know, you never know. I don't know. My, my yeah. wife gave me a kind of thumb up, so maybe I did okay. It was awesome. I actually, I so. was so funny just being at the top floor listening. I heard everyone go, whoa, dude, wait, hoverboard? Like, so you kind of like heard like little mutters and whispers, you know. So what was that moment like, actually, just kind of being able to say, hey, this is what I'm doing next? Well, you it's know? it's it's exciting. That's yeah. the first time we showed the hoverboard logo yes, and test treatment yes. in a public setting. And so that's a first for us. And yeah. Kinda, uh, so it, it, it I would meant a lot more to me when we can actually show the hoverboard. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, that's, uh, you know, in the spring. So Yeah, that's good. But, yeah. So... Tell me about your relationship with electronics and movement, because I know we talked a little bit a few nights ago and, you know, just being around, you know, with the other guys that, you know, we hang out with, with Ian and Raymond and stuff like that. I always hear a lot. But from you, like from your standpoint, what does electronics and movement mean to you? You know, and just how does that whole thing come together in your head? For me, it was, you know, as soon as I could use my hands, I was interested. As soon as I could see, knew what an electric motor was when I was a kid, I was, I was buying them at the surplus house and hooking them up. And, and pretty soon I had everything in my room automated, yeah. you know, long before. Now it's everybody's got it. But yeah. I had, when I was a kid, and it was a long time ago, uh, my TV came out of the cabinet oh, and my, wow. my closet yeah. opened. And then when I got a car, I completely redid it into this James Bond car and the grill would go oh, down and there'd be lights man. and the the all the controls were automated and yeah. i was just always interested in electric motion okay so yeah. like what gives you that idea to say this piece of product i want to change it i want to do something different with it because we all have our ideas of wanting to change something but you do it you know you you, you literally put your hands on it you say i'm going to do something different like when did that first start? What was your first thing you ever just modified? And did you get in trouble for it? I want to know that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would. My parents were the most forgiving. They just turned a blind eye to the saws I would take to my room and the, the things I would do to the house. And, oh, and uh, thankfully, uh, uh, they they just kind of let me roll with it. And, nice. And uh, so, so uh, uh, you know, it, it's always been... Uh, uh, I've always been kind of a bit of a contrary and I was always the one I, I, my talent is to kind of see what's missing I, okay. I, if I see something I mm -hmm. can always kind of see what's being overlooked or what's yeah. missing it can make me kind of annoying in a conversation but, <laughs> <laughs> but in business it, it, yeah. it kind of get, it's not it's a nice feature because yeah. I can pick yeah. up a niche and nice, uh, and, nice. and compete with uh, larger competitors because because mm -hmm. uh, by because I can identify what they missed nice yeah. so what do you feel that technology is going and leading to because I mean nowadays it's coming so fast you know it's I love the show Star Trek so it's funny seeing a lot of things come from Star Trek and actually you know just come alive you know touchscreen phones and so yeah. we thought that was you know years away now they're standard you know tablets same thing and even Google Glass you know that's some things we saw where do you see you putting yourself I guess you can say on the platform or forefront of making that next change, especially since things are going so fast. Well, uh, uh, Nissan has a great saying uh, mm -hmm. that they, I, I saw just recently. Uh, it's, it says, if the electric car was, in, if the car was invented today, it would be electric. Mm -hmm. No one would ever think of putting an internal combustion engine in a car. I mean, a Tesla can already go like 250 yeah. miles and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So, so uh, there's this if battery tech. There's this there's this myth mm -hmm. that battery technology isn't there. You know, yeah. it's just a, yeah. you know, it's just not quite there, and, and it's a total myth. It's yeah. just, and it's 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 part of the language of the motorhead, the kind of uh, people with the, in the with the an investment in the inertia mm -hmm. of the existing infrastructure. Uh, it's just not reality. Batteries yeah. are there. Batteries, they've got uh, people making sport aircraft running yes. entirely off yes. of batteries. So, yeah. you know, uh, so so there's something missing. If people mm -hmm. are not really exploring that space. Well, you got mm -hmm. batteries, you got electric vehicles yeah. could take a lot of different forms besides cars. Yes, yes, very and, true. And a scooter or a Segway. So, mm -hmm. so uh, there's, there's missing elements people aren't, <laughs> aren't seeing yeah. there. And, yeah. and, uh, and I'm jumping on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's how you gotta can. do it. Yeah, that's yeah. how you gotta do it. So what do you do for fun? You know, just, I wanna get away from work, I wanna get away from doing whatever. Like, what does Robert do for fun? Uh, explore. Oh, uh, like explore. what? I crazy explorer. I've mm -hmm. I've got a pilot's license. I've oh, got whoa. a scuba license. I go, 
you know, boating. I've got a boat that I keep at a marina and uh, bikes, cars, you know. So I just uh, grab my 10 year old son quite often now and we just go out. And uh, last weekend we just got in our our little little boat I bought when I was 16 years old, a little 13 foot Boston whaler Mm -hmm. uh, that I keep at the marina in San Francisco. And we just got on that thing and we went over everywhere. Awesome. Awesome. So name a most memorable but hard experience that changed you as a person in your development growing into a business person you know that that one moment that you said wow looking back on it that's when i knew robert made that turn uh that's right after we started we, we were excited graduating mm-hmm. and and we came up with our first product. we did a senior project that that uh use motion control and mm-hmm. we went and bought yeah. the state-of-the-art motion control secondhand you know from yeah. a surplus store and and we we were just it was a disaster mm. there really was not designed to meet our needs and mm-hmm. and so when we started our company we designed motion control mm-hmm. uh the motors and controllers and all that stuff that yeah. make it work and and we designed it all around our needs nice. <laughs> nice. and nice. and uh but and when we brought it to the marketplace mm-hmm. uh n- nobody liked it because <laughs> it, mm. it, it, it met our needs not yeah. theirs yeah. right so <laughs> so that was like an epiphany it mm-hmm. was uh, you know you're raised you, nowadays we kind of do, do it even worse we raise yeah. our kids to you know think that everything they do is golden and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was a, it was a wake up call oh, wow the, the the world you know just isn't going to lay itself at our feet and we're not gonna, mm-hmm. just going to experience consecutive successes <laughs> all nice. through you know nice. and uh, it was sobering and uh, you know we were out of money and and kind of desperate to try and make things work and nice. and uh, and it was uh, it was painful mm-hmm. but it, but it was awakening and we had made a lot of contacts at that point. We're getting a lot of criticism for our products, and mm-hmm. we thought, oh, this criticism kind, of, criticism kind of looks like a specification. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's what we did. We turned the criticism into a specification, came mm-hmm. out with another product nice. that was just tailored for everybody's current needs. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's when we really took off. Okay. Yeah. What is one question that you wish you would have asked yourself 10 years ago that could have changed everything about you now? Hmm. Question I could have asked ten years ago. Uh, let's see. Um, where's the internet going? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, you know, speaking on that, that, that is a good question because the internet gives us so much access to so much information, but it's often misused. You know, so if you were to actually create the internet yourself, when would you have released it? Oh uh, well, I would have made spam impossible ah, yes <laughs> so i would yeah. i would charge a penny for every email i like or something wow. something i don't know something uh-huh. i would just like to know that that email costs something for someone yeah. to send nice. <laughs> and i wouldn't nice. mind paying a penny for yeah. every email i send yeah. something like that but exactly. I, I know we're supposed to keep the internet free but no, it <laughs> so what are you looking forward to the most here at the feast uh I'm looking forward to tonight's tonight's dinner. Okay. Uh, nice, I think nice. uh, I, I kind of what I like about the talk is I mm-hmm. think hopefully because uh, I'm I'm actually not as much of an extrovert. Extra in this setting, I'm not an extrovert. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was an extrovert. <laughs> now I'm realizing I'm a terrible introvert. So <laughs> I'm hoping maybe uh, uh, broken the ice with the group and maybe yeah, uh, I'll good. I'll be able to reach out a little more and Perfect. engage people. Robert. Definitely, definitely great talking to you. I look forward to everything you're going to be doing. I'm personally looking forward to the hoverboard because I'm so excited about it. (laughs) Really excited about it. And I'll see you on the floor, man. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.